What's up guys, Sean here. So today we are going to try to quick shot a building with the DJI Mavic Mini. Um, I showed you in my last video how quick shots work and how you can do inanimate objects as well as um, record yourself. So today I was like, you know, let's try a building. What's the worst that could happen? Um, it's important to know that when you're doing the DJI quick shot, um, if it's in the middle of doing something and you don't like what it's doing, all you have to do is touch the sticks um, and it'll stop in its tracks, okay? So let's quick shot this building. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're above everything. So right now I'm kind of using the drone to look around to see if I'm above the trees. Um, all of these quick shots go up. So if I'm kind of level with the trees, that's okay. Um, except for circle. Um, if I'm going to do circle, I need to make sure that I'm on top of everything. So yeah, so we're going to run through all of the quick shots in this video. Um, we're going to try the first one, which is the droney. Um, so yeah, we're going to do 25 meters and let's see how the droney works on a building. Um, you got to draw a rectangle around the building and then hit the start button. And this is what it does. It lines up its shot and then it goes for it. Um, at first I didn't, couldn't even tell that this was doing anything. Um, it's such a subtle, slow movement, but if you look at the very bottom of the screen, you can tell it's doing something. And then once it's done, um, it's going to go back to its starting point. So um, this is it kind of getting itself back into the original position before I hit the start button. So now let's take a look at that quick shot. So that quick shot didn't do much for me, so I decided to go a little bit farther and take it all the way out to the 40 meter distance. Um, so we're going to do the exact same quick shot. We're going to do a droney, but this time it's going to be 40 meters out. Um, so just like all the other quick shots, you have, first you have to draw a rectangle around the building, um, and then we're going to pull back. I thought this was a better shot because it has you know, some vehicles moving in it. Um, you know, you can actually see something moving. Uh, we don't have clouds in the shot. We don't really have a road next to the shot. So it's really hard to tell that it's a video, but I thought the truck coming down the road at the very bottom was pretty cool. So we're gonna go back to the beginning point and then we're gonna check out um, what this one looked like. Um, I thought this one was better. There was a lot more movement but it doesn't record video when it's returning back to the spot. I kind of wish it did. But yeah, let's check it out. All right, guys, next we're going to move on to the rocket. Um, and this first rocket, we're going to do 25 meters. So we draw the rectangle around, hit the start button. You guys get the idea. So we count down three, two, one, and we start moving up and kind of over. Um, I thought this was going to go straight over the building, but this is when things start to get a little tricky. Um, and I'm kind of breaking the logarithm of the, the quick shots. Um, it is a pretty cool shot, but um, it doesn't go over the top of it and point straight down. It kind of moves close to it, um, but not all the way. So now we're returning back to the spot of origin and I'll show you what this one looks like. Thank you. 
All right guys, so that was the rocket at 25 meters and now we're gonna switch up to 40 meters and do a rocket again. Um, these shots are actually pretty simple um, because they're not really going very far. Rocket kind of goes straight up, so you don't really have to worry about your surroundings that much with Rocket. Um, but I thought this one looked pretty cool because the building roof, um, you know, you start to see the dimension of the building, and, and I think it looks really, really cool. The apartments in the background look neat, um, the mountains kind of go away, um, you start to look down at the parking lot. Um, just a lot of dramatic, good stuff happening here with the Rocket. Um, there's a guy walking on that path back there. Um, just, just a lot of cool things. So we are going to finish up the rocket and we're gonna go back to our orig origin point again and I will show you what the rocket looks like at 40 meters. All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to the next quick shot, um, which is circle. Um, and this one, I wanted to get up pretty high just to make sure I didn't hit anything. Um, you want to have plenty of room, and the best way to get plenty of room is to move above the tallest thing. So I'm above all the light poles, I'm above the hill behind me. Um, and uh, generally what the circle does is it takes the distance from the point and then uses what I'm drawing a, a rectangle around which is the building uses that as the center point of the circle but as you guys will notice pretty quickly it's expecting to do a small circle and I thought this was going to act just like all the other DJI drones um, where you know it would use the building as the center point and draw a circle around it but this is where things got a little scary for me guys it started beelining towards the building um, and as you can see the rectangles having a hard time figuring out what's going on it loses you know the building and I thought it was just gonna it was aiming straight for the building so I started walking towards it to make sure I didn't lose any connection um, to make sure that I could take over but it didn't end up hitting the building um, it ended up doing this weird kind of FPV thing um, the very cool shot that I ended up with but um, kind of scared me a little bit so here is the circle and I feel like it's unsuccessful but it did have a very cool effect so check it out guys All right, guys, last but not least, we have the Helix. Um, I was a little apprehensive about doing the Helix because of what just happened with the circle. Um, and I thought about doing 40 meters, but I ended up going back to 30 meters um, just because 
you know, I only had 68% battery left and I wasn't quite sure what the drone was going to do. So we here's 30 meters. Um, and if you notice the yellow arrow at the bottom, kind of underneath the building, that's the direction that the quick shot is going to go. So this on circle and helix, you have that arrow. Um, so now I'm, I'm up in the sky, I'm pointing down at the building. Um, in order to do the quick shot again, you have to put a rectangle around it. Um, so, and I'm still just kind of nervous, so I'm getting as high as I can get. Um, and kind of moving in close to it because the circle kind of couldn't figure out where the building was. So, um, so I'm kind of getting into position and uh, yeah so once I'm in position I'm gonna change the arrow to the direction that I want it to go point down draw a rectangle around it um, so there's the rectangle and I just switch the direction and then I hit the start button guys um, and the helix was just kinda weird as well um, you'll see that it it starts doing um, it starts going around the building in the direction but all of a sudden it speeds up and it starts beelining for the building as well um, you know the helix also ends up looking down um, that's the nature of the helix it's a spiral but it, and a rocket and a circle and it kind of goes around but it starts going for the building too um, and then halfway through this I got a strong wind warning um, and it says strong wind fly with caution and land promptly so I waited until this helix was done as you can see it's pointing down and it's going kind of in a circle but it's also really freaking out so um, I let it finish its course and it started re to return back to where it needed to go um, and then since I was getting the strong wind warnings I decided to stop it where it was and just bring it home but let's check out this helix guys All right, guys, so can you quick shot a building? I would say you can drone a building and you can rocket a building, but circle and helix, um, in this case, do not work very well on a building. But it was a cool experiment, guys. I got some really good footage out of it. Um, so hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos about the DJI Mavic Mini. If you're planning on purchasing the DJI Mavic Mini, there are links in the description below to the DJI Mavic Mini, as well as an idea board for different accessories that go along with the DJI Mavic Mini. Any purchases you make there would really help out the channel and uh, help me make more videos for you guys. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.